driving, Bob, is a bullet. It's that uh, number seven, the Menards, number seven of Kevin Mannion, Sprint Cup crew chief. It's a car that Ryan Newman has driven with, with great success. Now, he lines up alongside Todd Zegedy in the number two. Zegedy pass champion of this series. And right behind them, Eric Goodale and Ron Silk, who uh, has run well, especially up in New Hampshire. Danny Bowen from New Jersey in the 65 from that great pro racing and pro bowling family in Creole, and Mike Stefanik in the 22. Then it's the defending series champ in the 52. That'll be Doug Kobe, and that yellow car on the outside of Kobe is two-time series champ Donnie Leah. Ryan Priest in the number 16, and Brandon Ward in the number 14 represent North and South, respectively. I think, Larry, most tracks we go the Wheeland Modified Tour for the North Drivers. A little more experience, a little more advantage. This flat track is so much like Bowman Gray Stadium in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. I think these Wheeland Tour South Drivers are going to give the Northerners a run for their money. Yeah, I mean, Mike, these cars are 800 pounds lighter than a Sprint Cup Series car, but you just drive it down in there and stand on the brake pedal, get it to rotate, and then rock it off the corner. Kyle Larson on the outside led every lap of his heat as Zegedy brings them to green into turn one, which is almost a stop and go. Trying to get these wide tires to turn, and it's Zegedy. Well, Brandon Ward in that 14 car got a terrible start, and it just log jammed about half the field up. Bump, bump, and spin in turn number three. Bobby Santos is around at Caution Waves. Santos in the 44, spinning, along with Gary Fountain in the 33, and there's the damage to Fountain's car already. That's going to hurt because these modifieds with those big wheels and wide tires hanging out there don't get a lot of help. No fenders for downforce. You've got to depend a lot on that front spoiler to keep the nose planted. And I just think so much to this happen from the start of the race when Brandon Ward, who started about mid-pack, he jammed everyone up, and they were still scattering when they got to the end of the backstretch. Brandon Ward driving for Kevin Powell. Power Sports out of Winston-Salem has gone to the pit area, and he is joined by two more from that incident. That would be Fountain and Santos. So you keep going down the backstretch, passing what would be in the Rolex 24, the entrance to the bus stop chicane. Follow the cones and then loop your way back and find your pit stall. But if you have to go to pit road here, cautions do count. You're pretty much going to go a lap down. But remember, just like Sprint Cup, these guys do have an opportunity to get a free pass under a caution. And it's a 150 lap race. And more of this can happen. Bob? Mike down here taking a look at the 44 machine, and he's got some significant damage on the left rear of that race car, a flat left rear tire as well. Tough break for Bobby Santos, a former champion of the Wheel and Modified Tour. They're going to repair that car, try to pull some of that sheet metal away from the tire as well, and get him back out on the racetrack. And these wheels, they're what we call a wide fire. They're not easy to change a tire on by no means. You won't find many national companies on the side of these cars. It's mostly local businesses and the fellows who work on these cars and pit them and even those who drive and own them. Most all of them have full-time jobs outside of racing. Yeah, they're what we would call weekend warriors. This is their golf game. This is their hobby. This is what they love to do. Brandon Ward returns along with Santos. Ward three laps down. Santos minus two, but it's very early. Just four laps complete as the Corvette pace car pulls away. Zegedy in the two. Larson in the seven. Goodale, Silk, Stefanik, Bone, Leah, Kobe, Priest, and Justin Bonsignor the top ten. Here we go. Back under green. And again, Zegedy by a car length. Heading for turn three. On the inside, here comes Goodale trying to challenge for second. It's just hard to make a pass on the outside here. Just right around the bottom of the racetrack through the corners. It's just, it's just hard to beat a driver that's down there. Larry, this is so much like Bowman Gray Stadium, I can't believe it. You get inside somebody, you take the groove away, you're going to take their spot away. Here comes Stefanik. 
Well, if you look at Kyle Larson in the seventh, he's almost getting freight train now because he started on the outside. Next, Ronnie Silk in the white number six to the inside. And Kyle Larson trying to hold his own against Silk. But Silk has the inside going into the corner, and that opens the bottom up for the next car in line. Donnie Leo. Finally, <laughs> Larson found a hole to get down in. He fell into the fifth position in that seven car. Single file and eight laps complete, back to about 16th position or so. Zegedy, Goodale, Stefanik, and Silk settle in. Three wide, a spin and four. That's Andy Sice, and we're under caution. Larry, it looks like it is so hard to get back on the gas, get those rear wheels to hook up, and get off the corner here. Well, and as we get into this race and we get into the longer runs, that's going to even become tougher because these are the same tires that these drivers had to run in a 25-lap heat race earlier this afternoon. Andy Sice was running 14. I mean, you're trying to connect over 600 horsepower with a very low gear to this asphalt. Bobby Santos gets the free pass. He'll get one of his two laps back. We're under caution. We saw that spin to bring out the second caution from our aerial coverage brought to you by DirecTV. Call yourself a sports fan? You gotta get DirecTV. Call 1-800-DIRECTV. Spin by Andy Sice, second caution of the night. We're now at 13 laps complete. Yellow laps count. Now Mike Stefanik in that 22 car, he's going to start third. That's going to make it tough for Goodell in that 58 car that's on the outside of the front row. When it's restarting Kyle Larson, he'll start back on the inside of the third row in the seventh. Now that's one big difference between here and the stadium. You don't get to choose your lane for the restart. It's double file, which puts Eric Goodell on the outside of Todd Zegedy been unchallenged so far. Green flag waves again, 14. Complete of 150 laps, two by two, into the corner, into the funnel, and Zegany leads them out once again. Good ale. Oh, trouble! Two, three, four cars and a stack of them coming out of turn number two. There's cars driving halfway down through the infield. Doug Kobe got the worst of it. He is facing the wrong way. The blue car against the wall. A lot of damage for the defending champion of the Wheel and Modified Tour. He's lost the left rear. And Ted Christopher is hung up with the Frank Fleming's boy, the Luke, out of Mount Airy, North Carolina, in the number 40. Mike, one thing we need to point out, when the caution comes out, because we only have the one scoring loop at the start-finish line, you go back to the last completed lap, how they were running. It's not like we have it sprint cup where they go back to scoring loops. Just an old-fashioned jam session. You see Kobe's 52. Oh, he hooks a wheel up and over Donnie Leah, battling for ninth place, and he's in the fence. We saw that in the heat races today. It doesn't take much to really damage these front tires and wheels that are just out there hanging pretty much with no protection. 